Good afternoon, everybody. I am Mark Corman. I'm one of your state delegates alongside Delegate Wallach. And th <laughs> this is why I love coming to Somerset. Uh, I also love coming to Somerset because you always welcome me every year, as well as my son. This is, I believe, his seventh year reading a uh, part of the Declaration of Independence. So thank you for welcoming us. Uh, as you're hearing in a lot of our comments, our politics can be, I'll say, difficult. National events can be challenging. So I just want to give you a piece of advice, if you don't mind a little Corman's plain. Um, turn off the cable news for a minute and think about the sweep of Maryland history. Four Marylanders signed the Declaration of Independence. Let's see if I can do this without Congressman Raskin here. Thomas Stone, Charles Carroll, Samuel Chase, and William Paca. They were all white men who were slave owners and from slave owning families. Fast forward 223, uh, 248 years, and we have a black governor in the state of Maryland, a black attorney general, a female comptroller, and not to make this political, but if I have my way, a black U.S. senator, a uh, black woman U.S. senator. So uh, it, it doesn't always feel that way, and we have an Indian American lieutenant governor. Uh, so it doesn't always feel that way, but there is progress, and things do improve over time. Uh, so shut off the cable news for a couple minutes on the 4th of July. Think about the sweep of American and Maryland history, and how have a great holiday. Thank you so much. That was excellent. That was excellent.